another lovely day. I've been noticing there have been more baby animals and stuff coming around here too. And what did I read today? I guess more news about things like weaponized drones and so forth, but how about I guess people wanting water drones? This one says here, military aiming to have uncrewed attack boats. The military is aiming to have self-developed uncrewed attack boats pass an initial operational test and evaluation next year and achieve mass production in 2026. Is this because of all the tension, for example, between places like China and Taiwan? It says the military is aiming to have self-developed uncrewed attack boats pass an initial operational test and evaluation next year and achieve mass production in 2026. A source familiar with the matter said yesterday, the National Chengcheng Institute of Science and Technology has developed uncrewed attack boats as part of the Kwachi project. The development of drones has proven to be crucial in the Ukraine-Russia war as Ukraine has used Maritime Autonomous Guard Unmanned Robotic Apparatus V5 vehicles which weigh less than one ton to sink Russia's fully loaded landing ship Kaiser Kunikov and patrol ship Sergei Kotov. So maybe it's more of a global thing because when there's war and so forth there will be customers for things like weapons. It says the two Russian war vessels have a displacement of more than 4,000 tons and 1,700 tons respectively. The total cost of the Kwachi project is about NT810 million or 24.9 million US. The institute has developed two types of drone boats with different displacements and bomb loads and adopted a streamlined stealthy design that reduces radar cross-section, a source familiar with the matter told the Liberty Times. The Army and Navy were reported to be interested in this project to counter possible attacks from the People's Liberation Army, the source said, adding that more than 200 drone boats might be needed as the cutting-edge armament complements the policy of asymmetric warfare. As the military could begin mass production of the drone boats in 2026, the military is striving to complete the operational evaluation before next year to meet the production needs of the military services, the source said, adding that the guidance and control distance of attack drone boats is consistent with military's coastal combat strategies. Yeah, it makes me wonder with this too, with weaponizing a quote drone boat, are we going to start to see major laws against people using things like RC boats? I mean, we joke about it, but I wouldn't doubt that would potentially happen in the future just based on what's happening around the world many times, like with regular aerial drones and stuff, correct? And in terms of weaponizing drone, how about this one? Apparently there was a video of what FPV drones, I suppose, locking on targets and all that. This one says, Ukraine tests FPV drone with target detection, lock on and tracking system. The release footage shows the FPV drone while in prepare mode, highlighting people's silhouettes in green. After that, the crosshairs of the sight are pointed at the person and tracking mode is turned on. At the same time, the selected silhouette of the person turns red. Most likely, tracking selection and tracking of the targets occurs automatically, but the lock-ons can be performed manually. And it also says here the Ukrainian military with the call sign Magyar mentioned a system of detonation which is branched from the initiation board along the body of the device which, in case of a fall, closes and blows up the charge. Another mode of its operation is remote detonation at the command of the machine vision system. I guess overall the war continues and stuff, huh? And then I was reading this at first, I was wondering, isn't the BBC like a news station or does it stand for something else in the region? This one says BBC to invest 6 million in AI to help transform its education services. It says the BBC plans to use a multi-million investment in artificial intelligence to transform its educational offering and attract the licensed fee payers of the future. After being heavily relied upon by desperate parents during the pandemic lockdowns, the BBC is to announce a new 6 million investment in BBC Bite Size to make learning more personalized and interactive for students from primary school onwards. The money is part of an effort to lock in young users' relationship with the public service broadcaster. I don't know, something about that doesn't sound right to me anyways. You wanted to lock in young users for their relationship with the public broadcaster and so forth? Helen Folks, the BBC's head of education said, it's a significant investment in BBC Bite Size to turn it from a really brilliant trusted digital textbook to a much more personalized learning platform. We're taking our education service and making it fit for the digital age so the learning adapts to the user. So it almost makes me wonder, is this supposed to be kind of like, for example, let's just say a Sesame Street or something like that, but they're trying to make it more personalized to teach people or kids, for example, various lessons. 
It says new tools which are under development are likely to provide personalized testing and identify holes in learning, while like a spinach version of YouTube, users are also likely to find suggestions for follow-on content to deepen understanding of a subject. That kind of makes me think of that topic again, like nowadays anyways, I know there's so many parents and stuff, they blame digital media, this and that, but how much of it in terms of, let's just say the way a child grows up is due to the fact that a lot of parents are getting, let's just say lazier from my observation anyways, is, oh, I don't feel like, you know, taking the kid outside, teaching them hope stuff in the world. Here, like a tablet or something like that. I can imagine this nowadays too, like, okay, I'm too lazy to do this. Go run this AI program, have it teach you lessons and so forth. I mean, I think you still need to focus on things like that human connection and stuff like that too, huh? See you guys later.